Hello, welcome. Welcome, gorgeous beings of light. This is Elmara. Coming to you with the 100 Miracles in 100 Days project, plus the effortless manifesting and awareness activation quickie. So let's just start by taking a big breath in. Holding it in your tummy as long as you can and then breathing out with a sigh. Do this several times. Once you've let go of everything that's outside of you in this moment, and your awareness is within your own being, you can return to breathing in through the nose and out through the nose, unless you're releasing. We are going to do a quickie activation today. And if you just landed here for the first time, we strongly recommend you go back and listen to the very first activation. There's a full 25 minute activation there. But this is day 31 and lots of people have been following it every day and we don't want to bore them with the same details again because they will be very much, I'm going to list a another video later on a testimonial I've received from someone who's been working with these. But very much they can get into their activation with just this quickie. So you will be able to do the same if you just consistently practice 20 minutes, preferably at the start of your day. And see what shows up in your life. Breathe. I also just want to quickly mention from yesterday's miracle about fat plaques. The recipe that the homeopathic vet gave me was to use white rice, not brown rice, because animals have a different, you know, intestinal system to us. Theirs is short, ours is quite long. And white rice, brown rice is too harsh for them. So just use white rice. And there's heaps of like real vets that say don't give your animals garlic or onions. And while onions might be a bother, I have given my animals not much, just a bit of garlic. For Well, Fat Black lived another eight years and I've given it to all the others and I've been making their food and none of them have died and most of them have lived into their 20s. So do your own research. Follow that up if that feels right to you to do that. Um, but usually, I believe there's even a Facebook group online now that is all about feeding your dogs raw food and moving away from kibbles. I just saw a lady mention it in the Marima group. So if, you want, if you've got dogs and you want to stop arthritis in them, you might want to follow that up. So just breathe. I'm definitely hoping for a quickie miracle today, given given um, the last three or four have been quite long, but it's already off to an interesting start. I started once, had to stop it, because some DHL parcel delivery guy showed up. So <laughs> always a sign we're doing big work in the world. So just take a big breath in. Bring all your awareness in and let it out and bring your awareness into your body. Your beautiful, beautiful body that is the temple for your soul. And all the stuff that gets put on it, too short, too tall, too fat, too thin, too wrinkly, too old, whatever. Toss it all out the window. Along with all your gripes about it, any knee pain, back pain. You know, headaches, etc. Trust that or rashes, skin rashes, whatever. Just toss all your conditions out the window as well and just breathe. See if you can't feel much lighter. 
without all those stories about your body wrapping around inside of you. Now please bring your awareness into your identity. Name, address, phone number, occupation, kids, cats, dogs, pets, family, degrees, everything that identifies you as you and toss that out the window as well and just breathe feel yourself lightening up as you begin to connect more into your 99% untapped pure potential pure God source that exists within you underneath the 1% physicality breathe And as we mentioned many times before, the best the way to get the best out of these is just to breathe. And if anything comes up, if you feel angry, sad, mad, glad, just breathe. You may be burping, yawning, sneezing, farting. They're all good signs the energy is moving. You could have tingling in your hands, in your feet, on the top of your crown, in your chakras. And you might not be having a damn thing happening, but that does not mean that something truly powerful isn't happening for you. Just breathe and continue to do these until you lighten up your frequency and can feel them a bit better. Just go. Most importantly, if I'm irritating the crap out of you, that is a really good sign your poop is coming to the surface and you should continue to listen until that changes. I'm not making that happen to you. It's what's buried inside of you. And it's how powerful I am to bring your poop up in just a few minutes. Just breathe. You have the greatest opportunity to transmute that to light if you wish to. Just breathe. Just breathe. Now bring your awareness. Sorry, I have a huge love affair with the wind. It just came up. It just, I love the way it just gently kisses the side of your face. Sorry, it's always stops me. Madly in love with the wind. But I'm also madly in love with the moon and the sun and the earth and the trees. So <laughs> bright or hippie you've got going on here. So bring your awareness, please, into your feelings, your emotions and your opinions, especially those things you have strong opinions on, like the war that's going on, mm. politicians, environmental damage, especially those things you get angry about, toss them all out the window now and breathe. Just put them aside, either out the window or out the door into another room if it's freezing cold where you are. Just breathe. Now bring your awareness into your mind, your beautiful mind, and take all of your thoughts, your conscious mind, unconscious mind, and your subconscious mind, throw them all out the window or out the door. Breathe, just breathe and focus your awareness within. See if you can feel stuff. If you can feel tingling and shifting, that's the that's your God source being already waking up inside of you and helping you. Just breathe. And now move your awareness, please, into your heart, your beautiful, beautiful heart. That, by the way, is at least the very minimum, it's 5,000 times stronger than your mind. In people who are waking up, it's like 100,000 times stronger. And then for people who have been on their path a very long time, it can be a million times stronger. And just sitting 
and being connected to their source, they can affect millions of people in the world. That's what I do. That's why I meditate every day. And that's why I'm looking for 10 to 20 people who want to do that with me, who are past the Reiki stage, past the pranic healing or whatever it is, and theta healing, and you actually recognize that there's no such thing as a healer. There's only people that help evoke your own gifts to the surface, but you're also aware that we can create waves of quantum energy to collapse old timelines, old, you know, timelines on war and on poverty and on disease, environmental damage. That's what our 22-week program will be about in this coming year. We're just sorting details out, trying to find a groovy name for it, you know, and all the rest of it. So, But you will be certified. We'll teach you how to connect fully to the fifth dimension. And then we'll teach you how to quick to connect to the conscience, quantum sorry, and collapse timelines and all sorts of groovy stuff. We'll be doing all sorts of groovy stuff. So we're just looking for really advanced spiritual people that are ready to rock this world and do what we really came here to do. So back to your heart. <laughs> oh, God, I love the way we just drift off sometimes. So back to your beautiful heart. And you want to seek and find, gather and bind all heartache and all heartbreak. So every time your heart's been broken, when a loved one died or, you know, a pet died or family went away to live in somewhere else, somewhere away from you, someone broke up with you, whatever it is, we stash all that stuff down in our heart and stick a great big heart wall around it and think that it's stopping it from happening, which if you've ever done that, you'll know it never stops it happening. And just continue. So just breathe. Seek and find, gather and find all heartache or heartbreak and the heart wall and toss them out the window or out the door and breathe. See, if you can't sense the love coming up inside of you, now you've taken that wall away. Because the problem with heart walls is that it blocks the love your love coming up and get going to all parts of your being and people outside of you feeling that. So when your heart is blocked, you keep getting all these crappy people doing crappy things to you because they can't feel that love. They can just feel all the crap that you've got buried in there. So throw it away. You don't need it anymore. Just breathe. Transmute it to light. Transmute it to personal power. Breathe. Sorry, I'll share that little joke in a moment. Spirit just shared something with me. Okay, so now this is so good. This is this is something that was given to me just in the last week, and I can't tell you what a difference it's making not only in my lives but the lives of everyone around me. I want you to bring your awareness into everything that is out of alignment with your infinite wealth and abundance that exists in every cell of your being and it is your birthright to be infinitely abundant and not to have to struggle and toss all of that, everything that's out of alignment with it, out the window or out the door and breathe. So all poverty consciousness, all lack and limitation, all struggle, everything, that's stopping you from receiving unlimited abundance, unlimited money flowing into your life. But we're also talking about an abundance of love and joy and peace and oneness, loving friends. Toss everything that's out of alignment with it or everything that's blocking that from coming to you out the window or out the door and just breathe. Feel the magnificence of who you truly are underneath the 1%. And yet we have been trained so skillfully by those trying to control you to focus 99% of your energy on that 1%. And look what happens when you just shift it back to the 99%. Connected to all time and space, all dimensions of light, all universes, galaxies, 
star system, the whole entire universe, and you have access to it through your 100 trillion cells and your 100 trillion telomeres. Five years ago, and even now still, you can rock, pop, pop in telomeres, and it comes up with a red line underneath it saying, <laughs> it's not a proper word. You can put in Syrians, Lyrans, Andromedans, Arcturians, they've all got red lines under them, <laughs> yet they're star systems. <laughs> oh, God, it's so funny to me. It's so funny that, you know, they've trained you out of the magnificence of who you are. We just bought it hook, line and sinker. But by God, are we taking our power back now? Just breathe. We need millions of you, millions of you to wake up and remember the magnificence of who you truly are. And the truth is, they used to think in the old days, like when I first started doing my work, you know, 30, 40 years ago, they used to tell us that we needed to be, to have 51% of the world wake up. And then the whole world would flip and it would, you know, we'd all be in line. But more proof has shown that we just need more people who are fully connected to their divine I am presence. And it's less than 10%. Less than 10% and those people will wake up the whole world for everybody. So I certainly want to be one of those 10 percenters. So and just look, just really be careful to, like I heard someone who's supposedly a very advanced spiritual person calling people blooming reptilians the other day. Look, even the fact that they're speaking like that that does not make you an advanced being. If you were an advanced being, you would know <laughs> that you could dissolve all that anyway. Like, it's such, there is so many 3D healers and teachers out there that just talk crap. Just stop listening to it. There's heaps of them that tell you to smoke pot. You reach enlightenment. That's just rubbish. Besides that, you can have, I once had a cosmic orgasm that lasted like for, I don't know, I can't remember now whether it was five or, I think it was five days. Imagine having an orgasm in every cell of your being for five days. It's like 20 years ago now, but you know, <laughs> huge awakening, <laughs> you know, like you don't, you don't need to take bloody dope the high that you get from being connected to your soul is more magnificent than any drug you've ever taken. It becomes addictive. That's why I meditate every day. But it's a good addictive. It's not something that's going to kill you or, less, or lessen your vibration. So breathe. Just breathe while I... This is miracle number 31. I wanted this to be short. I have millions of miracles I can share with you. Mm, sorry. I have millions of miracles that I can share with you. Um, and I just couldn't think of one before I started. Then I thought of one and then the DHL guy came um, with a parcel for my landlord, and I ran out and signed for that. And this is the miracle for today, because it really is a miracle compared to 20 years ago. When I got back in the door, and it's also a miracle to let you guys know, all these people bloody doing selfies and stuff, it's all rubbish. It's all rubbish. When I got back in the door, I caught a glimpse of myself. I still had my nagi on and I had popped a dress over the top of it because I wanted to do the activation because down the hill, just down the hill, the kid's obviously on school holidays and he's either got a bike for Christmas or he's bored to tears because the little one, the little kid has a bike and he's just gunning it up and down the driveway and driving me insane and it, it really destroys my lovely, lovely activation I'm doing for you. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. So I wanted to get it done quickly. And so I just chucked a dress over the top of my nighty. And when I came back in the door, 
I noticed I hadn't even done my hair and my hair's all over the place. <laughs> Usually I get up in the morning, go to the loo and do my hair, but I hadn't even done that. And I just had this really, really wild child hair. And I said to the guy, he said, oh, what's your name and surname? Your first initial and surname. And I go, oh, I don't have a surname, love. I'm an old hippie. I don't have a surname. And, um, and he just smiled. And when I got back in the door, I realised why he smiled because my hair was... Looked like a bomb had hit it, you know, like, um, because I've got longer hair that I kind of tie up on top of my head, but it's all falling out and flying everywhere. I'm still in my nighty and I've got a dress on, and I am sending you these infinitely powerful activations. And I didn't give a toss. Well, the, the miracle is that I didn't give a toss that someone was going to see me looking like that, because normally I'm happy to be like that in my home. I, that's how I do my activations. In wintertime, you'll find me in Ugg boots and jammies or my dressing gown if it's freezing cold. It doesn't change who you are. But the miracle for today is that I ran out to pick up this parcel for Pete and came back in and didn't even go, oh, my God, I can't run out. I've got to do my hair before I can go pick up this parcel for him, which would have been me 20 years ago. It's really wonderful when you get to know who you are as a spirit being, spirit being or as a, a, a huge, powerful being on earth, and it has absolutely nothing to do with what you look like. That's the reason I use that profile pic. I was doing some really powerful work last year. I had not done my hair, <laughs> had no makeup on. I don't wear makeup that much in a day. I usually would put it on at Christmas and on my birthday, but I haven't even done that for the last year, so that might have got the toss all together. But I just, Spirit said, go outside and take a photo now. I went outside, took a selfie, which I'm, so the re, that's the reason I'm against selfies, because people have made it about what you look like. Um, and the more doled up you are. And there is a saying that says, you know, people make, an assumption about you within the first seven seconds they meet and they don't usually change that. Well, as far as I'm concerned, that's rubbish and we need to change it because that's what's causing, that's what causes the separation. We're all one being. We're all one infinite being of light. And when we judge someone because of the colour of their hair, the colour of the hair, I meant to say the colour of their skin. Oh, the colour of the hair. If you've got a white hair, we write old people off instead of acknowledging the wisdom that exists within them. I'd much rather be me now in my 60s. I don't have many wrinkles because of all the meditation I do with snow white hair. I've got snow white skin as well. But, you know, I'd much rather be me now with all the stuff I've got than me 20, 30 years ago when I would not leave the house without having full hair and full makeup done and I would even run when I used to run 10 miles a day. I would run with makeup on. I'd just look at that and go, how crazy was that? And you see all these people doing spiritual work and doing all these sexy poses and whatever. That's just rubbish. You don't need sex to sell spirituality. It's not about how good you look. It's about how good you are on the inside. So breathe. And that's my miracle for today. 90s and messy hair, I think I'll call it. So I am praying that you all get to the point where who you are is more important than what someone else thinks of you. Who you are is not tied up with what you look like or what you have or the kind of car you drive or the kind of house you live in or all of that stuff, all the qualifications, all the university degrees, all of that. It's never meant jack shit to me. <laughs> but I've got to tell you, it's probably one of the first times I've run out to a fairly handsome looking older man and just sign something, <laughs> not given. I didn't know. I didn't know he was handsome till I got there. And I didn't even go when I got there, oh, I haven't done my hair or anything, because I just had started the activation and was in that space of me. I don't care what people think anyway. I've long passed that, but I'm just 
And the reason I giggle where was when Spirit said to me, that's your miracle. Because when I went to start again, they went, no, don't do that miracle. I went, well, what am I going to do as I was starting for like the third time? They went, no, it'll it'll come to you, Al. <laughs> so I giggled halfway through that because I went, oh, you want them to tell me about my night, being in my nighty and having messy air and not giving a toss. Breathe. Just breathe. Remember the magnificence of who you truly are. Toss your body out the window, your identity out the window, all of your feelings, emotions and opinions out the window, all of your thoughts, conscious mind, unconscious mind, subconscious mind out the window. All of your heartache, heartbreak and heart walls out the window. And then everything that's out of alignment with the infinite wealth and abundance that exists in every cell of your being. Toss that out the window or out the door as well. All struggle, all poverty consciousness, all lack and limitation. Everything that's blocking you from the infinite abundance of love, joy, peace, money, clients, whatever you want. Breathe. Activate your 100 trillion cells and your 100 trillion telomeres. Wake up the pure God source within you and see what God's got planned for you today. Love, love, love. My deepest love and richest blessings to you all. Have a truly blessed day. And I look forward to being with you again tomorrow. Bye for now.